So guys, carnival is over. Lent is here. We know what that means. We have a lot of delicious fish options. And I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to do salmon. And that is pan-set salmon with fresh stir-fried vegetables and some delicious couscous that we have here from Waitrose. So let's jump right in and get started now. Here in the Caribbean, we celebrate our rich and diverse heritage every day in every pot. The story of our shared experiences is told in every bite of our favorite dishes. Join us as we explore Caribbean cuisine where every dish is simply local. So today we're using the Waitrose Garlic and Coriander Couscous and for those who may not be familiar with couscous, don't be scared, it's really really delicious. What it is, is just durum wheat semolina, so like little bits of pasta essentially but it's in like little balls and why i love a couscous is that it really absorbs any flavor you give it and it has just like a really wonderful light fluffy texture so definitely if you haven't tried couscous yet it's totally worth a worth a shot so i'm gonna get my pot going right here so i have my pot going here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a couple of flavors to this couscous so this packet right here this sachet it does have a lot of delicious little spices and herbs in it has no msg so we're, we're good on that we're just gonna add a little bit more fresh ingredients so, you know and keep it a little local here so right now i'm gonna add some of my retro's extra virgin olive oil and i have my flame on about a medium heat and we're just gonna add to that some chopped garlic and chopped onions. So couscous is, is, a, is traditionally from North Africa. You see a lot of Moroccan dishes, a lot of Egyptian dishes. Um, if you ever heard of a tagine, which is like the lamb stew from Morocco, that is where it comes from. But it's, as everything else is world, everybody's culture is intertwining. And I really have fallen in love with couscous and it's kind of become part of my like everyday green routine. <laughs> So I use it alongside rice, pasta, you know, um, quinoa interchangeably. So my oil is getting nice and hot and I'm going to add my onions. And as usual, I'm just going to cook these onions until they're translucent. And I mean, I'm not going to ignore the elephant in the room. I have this beautiful bottle of Chilean white wine next to me. You know, it's going to go down. Emily drinking and cooking. So stay tuned. This episode is going to get real lit real soon. <laughs> Next, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of chopped garlic. If you want to skip this step, you can. There's lots of delicious herbs and spices right in this mix. But you know me, I like to add my little flavor to stuff. So I'm going to just get these little aromatics going. And I'm simply following the instructions on the back, which I will go through with you right now. So I'm going to pour the contents of the packet right into my pot. As you can see, there's lots of little, it's some bits of good stuff. There's some dried carrots, there's some dried herbs, there's some dried garlic, and there's a little bit of salt in there already. So I'm just gonna leave it, and I'll probably salt to taste at the end of this whole process. So I'm just gonna toss it in my olive oil and aromatics. Just like that, it already smells super good. And then I am going to add a cup of water that I boiled before. It's not rolling, boiling anymore, but it's hot water. I'm gonna add this right into the pot. Once again, I'm gonna give this a quick mix. And I'm gonna let this come to a boil. Quite simply, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just let this sit covered for about five to 10 minutes. And what's gonna happen is all the water is gonna get absorbed by the couscous, all that water, all the delicious flavors and the aromatics are gonna get absorbed. I'm just gonna fluff it with the fork after. But in the meanwhile, I have a beautiful heavy bottomed saucepan on a, like a medium flame, and I'm gonna cook my salmon. And I do this very simply, you guys. There's just a couple of tricks for pan-set salmon that you must take note of. So get your notebooks out, get your phone notes out, pay attention. So what I did with this salmon, it's a beautiful filly. It's not too thick, you know. And what we're gonna do is just simply season it with salt and black pepper and put it right into the oil. But what I did prior to that is I really worked on making sure that my salmon was super dry. I got the napkins out, I got the paper towel out and I've just packed it completely dry. So you can see it's not like dripping with any 
of like the defrosted ice if you're you know if if it was frozen before it's nice and dry and what's that gonna help us do is get that nice set if you have too much liquid it's not gonna set it's gonna steam and we want a nice crispy outer layer on our salmon so once again i'm in with my waitrose extra virgin olive oil which i love I'm gonna make sure that gets nice and hot and I just kind of want it to be right before it starts to smoke and right there I have my salt and black pepper and I know this is probably the first time we've ever cooked a protein on Simply Local where we're just kicking it with the salt and black pepper but a lot of the times the same salmon that you're enjoying in the international restaurants that we have in TNT that do said salmon it's very very simple you kind of have to just have to let the salmon flavor shine through so I have my oil here and it's just about to smoke. Another thing I have here is I have a nice flat spatula and you'll see, you're gonna see how I'm gonna use this. So I'm just gonna rest my salmon right into the oil. And that's the sound you're looking for, right? And I'm just going to press my salmon right in. And while it's sitting there and doing its thing, I'm going to add some salt to the next side. A little black pepper. And a lot of times in Trinidadian cooking, we want to cook, cook, cook everything down. But salmon is kind of like steak in that sense. You can kind of cook it to whatever temperature you want. So I don't want my salmon to be overcooked. I want it to be nice and moist inside. Remember last time we had that hashtag? Hey, what? We're going to start a new hashtag. Hashtag team no more dusty salmon. So we're still on that team and still back in the same side. The salmon is not going to be dusty because we're washing it and we're just going to cook it just until it needs to flip. There we go. So just letting it get nice and golden brown. Making sure that it doesn't stick. There we go. I have my plate ready to go. I have my wine ready to go. It's gonna take no time, you guys. All right, so I'm seeing just kind of like the cross section of the salmon. It's nice and brown on, on the base. So I'm just gonna give it a quick flip, just like that. Delicious. You're a chef, you're a chef, you can do this. This is looking great. There's no, there's no debate. Salmon is one of the more expensive fishes to purchase or types of fish to purchase. So you really want to make sure you don't waste your money in and overcook your fish. That's terrible. And you have to kind of sit there and pretend like you're enjoying it. You don't have time for that. You have to actually enjoy our food in 2020, huh? Alrighty. Let me see the other side now. Looks gorgeous. And I have my plate right here. Just gonna let it rest right here. So we have our olive oil here. I'm just gonna remove from the flame super quick. And I have my veggies ready to go. So I'm just gonna stir fry these veggies. No fuss, no drama. Throw these right inside. A little bit of salt, black pepper. Right here I have some garlic and a little bit of chopped ginger too. And I don't want the garlic to get too brown and bitter. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more olive oil. And you guys, when it comes to the vegetables, it's really choose your own adventure. We had some carrots, some sweet peppers, we had a little bit of red onion in the fridge, and some string beans. We're just gonna toss it up just like this. And I want the veggies to be nice and fresh, because in a restaurant, this is what they do, right? everything is ready to go. That's why when you bite into the vegetables, you're like, why does it taste better than I would make it at home? It's because everything is ready to go. And we can't forget our couscous here doing its thing. 
All right. I have some beautiful cabbage here that I'm going to add as well. And all the nice bits of salmon that was at the bottom. Mm. Can I get it right into this pot? Ugh. I like my veggies. Have a little bit of a bite to them still. I don't like them like all sappy and overcooked. I like them actually exactly how this wine is described. I like them vibrant, grassy, crisp, refreshing. That's how I feed my vegetables. That's how I like to have my meals in general on a regular basis. So you gotta give this wine a little taste. Love me some wheat rose wines. Smells already so refreshing. It's dry season, y'all. This is the perfect dry season wine. And I still pass you a pound though. Let's give it a little taste. Phenomenal. So good. So I'm gonna take my plate and start building it. How about that? So I have my delicious couscous right here. Just gonna throw some on right next to the salmon. There we go. And I have some veg, and I have I've made enough veg really and truly to have more tomorrow. Pack some for, for lunch. Right here I have some fresh parsley just to sprinkle right on top of my salmon. And I hit it with a little bit more lemon. And well guys. Bon appetit! <laughs> My fork is just going straight into it. It's perfectly done. Super, not dusty. Look at that. Delicious. Juicy. Little parsley on there. Salt and black pepper. Simple. It's all you have to do is keep it simple. So let me just shut my mouth and get to the goblin. I feel so bad, you'll have to hear this thing. <laughs> so good though. Mm. Delicious, moist salmon. No fuss, no hassle. Yo, this is probably the quickest meal that I've made in this kitchen studio ever. I think it took us, what, like 20 minutes or so? Start to finish. Let's take a spoonful. Delicious. I'll do one too. I don't have any on me today, but if you want to add some like toasted almonds or like some pecans on top of that couscous for the crunch, so good. Feeling to touch you don't bust a line with a salmon. Seriously. It's Lent. I know it's Lent, but I'm sorry. I can't help my emotions. Mm. Man, oh man. Special thanks to our friends at Waitrose for sponsoring this delicious meal and video. <laughs> Waitrose products can be found at all Massey stores nationwide. And until next time, I'm gonna keep savoring this delicious salmon. I have to leave a little piece for my producer. It's peeing me, I'm telling you. But we'll see you guys next time. Bye.